Upon Shibi has need of you, Acolyte. I am Speaker Vaden Barrow. I have been sent from Necrom to continue my sacred duty to the deceased. You are invited to join our sacred order within the temple, known only as Speakers for the Dead. A sacred temple order of which I am a member. We advocate for the dead and act as the voice for the voiceless. Not so fast, Acolyte. Our requirements are much more stringent than that of a lowly temple acolyte. You must perform two dutiful actions befitting a speaker to prove your dedication to our cause. Do you accept? Then let us begin with your first sacred task. In Dondral, north of Almas Thur, there is a devout follower named Garth Ovav. For years he lived with his daughter and raised her to live a life espoused by the temple. Recently, his daughter passed away, leaving him very distraught. Distraught enough to be mentioned by pilgrims passing through. I want you to investigate this for me, and do what you can to alleviate his pain. Do not fail me, Acolyte. for a ride, Outlander. Name your destination. We make a special trip just for you, same low price. Greetings, Outlander. Uh, Is there some greetings, you Outlander? Somewhere. Feel free to have a drink with us. That's right, Outlander. I happen to have some dirt on Dolan Voller, an individual that has quite a bit of authority within the Savit Tong. No, it has nothing to do with House Hualu. In fact, none of us have any contact with them whatsoever, if you haven't figured that out already. At this point though, does it really matter to you? I'll settle for 350 gold. Deal. Thank you for your generosity, Outlander. Dolan Bowler keeps a journal inside of his house containing detailed accounts of his past, back when he was a lowly drug smuggling bandit. Nowadays, he takes great care to maintain his image as an honest huntsman. If that facade were broken, well, I'm sure you can guess what would happen. Should you get your hands on that journal, it should be trivial to get him to say whatever you want him to about the Savit Tong. Good luck, Outlander. I'll be taking this gold and leaving v -hole for good. Should things go your way, I'd rather not get caught up in the crackdown. I'm a twin. is pretty. Wood is nice. If one looks good, I'll make it twice. Upon reaching the last page of the book, the words boat ack are seen scrawled about the margin in a vandalistic manner. The journal has most of its pages torn out. 
the few that remain detail the escapades of a young Dolan Bowler. There are detailed accounts of various crimes he committed throughout the years of 3 392 to 3 396, including robbery and skuma smuggling. Scrawled on the inside of the back cover is a note, presumably written by Dolan Bowler post facto. Let this tattered journal serve as a reminder of not only where I came from, but how far I have progressed since. By the three, may I never return to my old ways. Is there something I can do for you? Outlander, why don't you have a look at my wares? It's the best meat you can find in these parts. Is that... My journal? What's the meaning of this, Outlander? How in the world did you get your hands on that? What do you mean you just found it? It was locked safely away in my house. In any case, that doesn't belong to you. Give it back to me right now. Thanks. I suppose. Let this be a lesson to you, Outlander. Don't go snooping around where you shouldn't be, pocketing stuff that clearly doesn't belong to you. prayers been answered? I have been praying for what seems like weeks now. My daughter Fedra has passed from an unknown affliction. While she writhed and spasmed in agony, Dondrel refused to help, claiming they did not trust me. I have lived just south of this town my entire life. I must put this behind me, or I will be consumed by remorse. I humbly request cremation services of the temple. My late daughter, the one who I request a cremation service for, the one depending on you for help. My daughter lies in repose in our home to the south. Travel back to Almas Third and bring me a priest to perform the sacred rituals necessary to bring her peace. I will meet you at our home. It's to the south of here, at the end of a little path that splits off to the left of the main road. An outlander in my home? What's this village coming to? Please, I have a bounty to offer for Nirmeni Enef. Nirmeni is dead? Good. No pilgrim should feel unsafe on Belitha's path. Here's the bounty. Hunting down these criminals is a good way to earn his illuminated lordship's favor, even if you are an outlander. In fact, I have another two new bounties to offer, if you are interested. What was that? The Gospel of St. Vila, Corner of Dispersal A record of the tithes Dondrol pays to Indora Ilvi at ROADYR, mostly consisting of produce grown in surrounding fields. Hetman of Dondrol
Om Shri has need of you, Acolyte. While many know the sacred rites for cremation, only Dala Erlen specializes in it. She can usually be found in the waste forks of Almas Thur. Blessed are we who serve Om Shivi. I welcome you to Almas Thur. This isn't about Garves, is it? Vaden mentioned his plight over dinner the other day. I suspected he might need my help, as I'm the only person here adept enough to perform the cremation rite without the proper equipment. Then I am the perfect one for the task. South of Dondrel you say? I shall leave immediately. I'm ready for anything. Go ahead.
I don't believe I've seen a dark elf with such a grand outfit and I am a farmer. Here. I am done performing the Three cremation services for Fedra. Here are the ashes, Acolyte. As the aspirant speaker, it is right for you to present the ashes to the living kin. You might be wondering about the candles. About that. The funeral service does not call for candles. These are my sacred candles meant to purge Dedric entities from the area. It does not take a powerful diviner to sense forces this strong. I cannot reason why they are here. Perhaps the bad Didra have taken an interest in the death of a soul so devout. Do not trouble a mourning father with this. Assure him her soul now dances with the ancestors. I shall remain here until this matter is taken care of. Speak with Garves. That was, the cremation services, is it done? This is all that is left of her, of Fedra. The matter now is where her final resting place is. The villagers of Dondrel have barred my family from their shrine due to the nasty rumors about us. Either the headman of Dondrel can be convinced otherwise, or she can be taken to the head priest of the charnel works in Necrom. I have no preference, and I know she does not either. This is your duty. She's all I think about now. Ada, I must tell you something. When she was very sick, writhing in pain, I eased her passing. It was my duty as a father to stop the senseless pain my child felt. I had to. There was no hope for her. I am afraid I do not know who it is, specifically. You should ask the pilgrims of Necrom. They're sure to know. What are you doing here? Can you let Jabinaji go free? There is no escape from the Indoril. They have the keys, they have the guards and they have the land. Another outlander from Old Ebonheart, I take it. I can fix up your gear if you need a smith's services. Garf's daughter? I heard she passed away recently. A pity. An outlander in my home? What's this village coming to? Please. If you are here about Lord Indora Lilvi's bounties then just say so. I am aware of Garth's situation. Are you aware of what has transpired here? People in Dondral saw Garth and his daughter visiting Hadron Nibibai many years ago. The Indoral judges cleared them of all suspicion. But something like that cannot be forgotten. As for whether I can accept the ashes, the headman appears to be thinking very deeply about his decision. I will allow it. Under one condition, you must have a priest perform a cleansing ritual. Whoever performed the cremation should be able to perform this ritual as well. This will give me, Garves, and the village of Dondrel much peace of mind.
Just ask. Ada. You have my complete attention. I had suspected so, a cleansing ritual would be required, but I'm going to need more candles than this. I'm joking of course, this is more than enough. The ritual now merely requires a willing soul. Garves must be ready for this. I must warn you, Acolyte, that refusal of the cleansing ritual is a very serious crime. If Garves does not agree, the ritual cannot occur, and I will be forced to take him for questioning. Standard procedure, of course. I am keeping you, and my daughter Fedra, in my prayers. What can I do for you? I'm very happy Sophie to make Edmund, your acquaintance. Disrespecting my family by requesting a cleansing ritual. We have committed no crimes. I refuse. I'm not sure I feel the same way. I'm sure I've got better things to do. I already have plans. That's very sweet, Ada. Thank you. I already have plans. No one's told me that in so long. We have done nothing wrong. I refuse to let this priest defile my house as if we were to drink cultists. The service has been performed, thanks to you. But Fedra's ashes still need to find rest. This is your sacred task, Dark Elf. Yes, later, I'd love to. Fine. Let's get this over with. Always happy to chat with people I like. And I like you. Are you ready to begin the ritual? Let us begin. Be my witness to the cleansing. With an outfit like that, you must be doing very well for you. It is done, Acolyte. I've given you f Are you ready to begin the ritual? Let us begin. Always happy to chat with people I like. And I like- It is done, Acolyte. I- Outlander in my home? You have completed the ritual, and thus I honor my promise. I shall ensure these remains will be placed honorably at Dondrel Shrine. Go see Garves. Tell him he is welcome in Dondrel once again. I am keeping you, and my daughter Fedra, in my prayers. What can I do for you? You have done your duty diligently and helped my family in our time of need. Now let us discuss rewards for this sacred task. Praise to you, Ada. May Fedra finally be at peace. We are both accepted in Dondra once again, and they will honor her memory. Take this. I have no more use for this little family heirloom. You have my thanks. The service has been performed. Thanks to you. I am afraid I do not know who it is, specifically. My daughter is finally at peace. Thank you, Ada. I am Garth Zobov, farmer. There's no one I'd rather see, Ada. If I can help in any way. It is done, Acolyte. I've given you Fedra's ashes. It is done. 
the Didra will bother this place no longer. I shall return to Almasthir when this is resolved. Please take the ashes back to the headman. We have done as he asked. Amshidi has need of you, Acolyte. I am Speaker Vadenbear, you have done as I asked. Do not ask me if what you did was right. Your primary duty was the cremation ritual, which you accomplished admirably. I am afraid I still cannot admit you as a speaker without proving you are as good with a sword as you are with words. Often conflicts can be resolved with personality and prose. This is not one of those times. The Sarnath family visited Necrom after a pilgrimage to their family shrine. Not only has their ancestral tomb flooded, but Druk have taken up residence in it. Urns are not waterproof, and they are certainly not Druk proof. The only ashes that survive are sealed in their family's ritual urns. Find the five matriarch ashes at the Sarnath ancestral tomb and bring them to Brady Swallow, head priest of the Charnel Works, in the city above Nikrom. The Sarnath ancestral tomb lies just north of Ildrim, or southeast across the sea from Telpranora. I am not without my mercy, though. Take this potion, I know it will prove useful. Temple, may she rest in peace. Vaden Barrow and Almas Thur gave me a sacred task, to investigate a troubled Dunmer whose daughter passed away recently. His name is Garves Ovav and he should be in Dondrel north of Almas Thur. Garves mentioned his daughter died due to a terrible affliction. Apparently the village didn't trust him enough to help him find a cure. I spoke with Garves, who asked me to travel back to Almas Thur to request the cremation services of a priest. I can meet him in his home to the south of Dondrel when I have found one. Dala Aralan in the Almas Thur Wasteworks specializes in cremation services. The priest Dala Aralan will visit Garves soon. I can meet her at Garves' house south of Dondrel. I received Fedra's ashes from Dala Aralan to present to Garves. Dala Aralan mentioned the presence of strong Didric forces in Garves' home, but did not know precisely why they were there. Garves says the villagers of Dondrel refused to allow him to place her remains in the village shrine due to nasty rumors. The only options are bringing the ashes to the head priest of the charnel works in Necrom, or convincing the headman to allow the ashes to be placed at the shrine. Garves admitted to easing his daughter's passing after realizing there was no cure for her. The headman Nilis Vero claims people have seen Garves and his daughter colluding with a group of witches in Hadrum Nibabai several years ago. The Indoril cleared their names, but the rumors are still rampant. The headman has agreed to let Fedra's ashes be spread at the communal shrine if a cleansing ritual is performed. Dala Aralan agreed to the cleansing ritual, pending Garv's approval. If Garv's does not agree to participate, there may be consequences. Garv's agreed to the cleansing ritual. Garv's has completed the cleansing ritual. I brought Fedra's ashes to the Dondrel headman. Garv's thanked me for convincing the headman to inter his daughter's ashes and gave me an enchanted ring. Baden Barrow noted my completion of his task. 